Cardinals, they are 12th in win percentage in the American League against left-handers. And uh, Mike, is, as was said by the manager, Buck Showalter, a little earlier today, hey, remember, this guy was a 20-game winner. His record may not be there this year, but still tough. Yeah, wins and losses might not be there, but the peripherals are definitely there. His strikeouts are starting to come up, and he's pitched very well against the Orioles in the last two seasons. Take a look, five starts, two and two with a 3-4-1. Of course, half faced the Orioles back in April, and the Orioles were able to uh, stick him with a couple losses, but he had a shoulder problem, went on the disabled list for about a month and a half with the shoulder. He's come back with a vengeance here. Last three starts, he has been as dominant as any lefty in the ballgame. Sub two earned run average. He's got 22 punch outs and just one walk. So he's on top of his game for sure. And a rubber match, of course. So it will be Ebaldo on the mound uh, coming off a very tough start, a short one against Tampa Bay. Runs and hits came early, did not have control of that fastball, got himself in trouble, needs to rebound tonight. And that's the key, really, his fastball. You know, Buck Showalter kind of uh, laughingly said, well, he should be rested. He only threw about 62 pitches in his last start. Yeah, two and a third inning, so Ubaldo definitely is going to be rested, but he too has had success against the opposing team. How about the Blue Jays numbers here? Opponents hitting 219. Yeah, keeping the Jays down. 353 earned run average, so he's had success. He's had success here at the Rogers Center as well, and I'm not talking about his last time pitching here at the Rogers Center in the postseason. I'm talking about his last start here. He went over six and two thirds innings and uh, only threw one hit ball. So, you know, Baldo's had his success. He probably feels confident coming into this game, and they need him to step up. It's uh, kind of unusual. We've come to this part of the season. Two teams expected to be very, really potent offensively. At times they have been, but both teams right now are struggling to score runs and get hits. They've been inconsistent for sure. I mean, the Blue Jays is kind of shocking with runners in scoring position, and that's really been the problem with them this season they can't compete in that regard when they get guys on base they just cannot drive them in lowest in the American League and the Orioles just riding the roller coaster man one night they'll put up eight runs the next night they get shut out like in last night's game all right chance for the Orioles to have a, a series win on the road uh, Tom and Rick if they can pick this one up tonight